comes up. Huh. Just do your research. Mr. Bridge. Yeah. Randy. Yeah. yeah we Perfect start. Oh. I now call to order the regular council meeting, December 3rd, 2018, at 7 p.m. Mrs. Burner. Mayor Reynolds. Here. Mr. Shammy. Here. Mr. Lowry. Here. Mr. Cobb. Here. Mr. Cook. Here. Vice Mayor Lindsay. Here. Six members present. <coughs> you all mind rising for the occasion by Vice Mayor Bill Lindsay. Bow your heads, please. Heavenly Father, Lord, we come to you once again to do the business of this city and for these citizens, Lord. Father, we ask you to protect our military, our police, our firefighters, and bless everybody in this building and this house this day, sir. Dear Lord, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> we'll say our pledge to the flag at the back of tonight. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Actions on the minutes for 11, 19, 18. So moved. Mr. Cook. Mr. Cook? Yes. Vice Mayor Lindsay? Yes. Mayor Reynolds? Yes. Mr. Shammy? Yes. Mr. Lowry? Yes. Mr. Cobb? Yes. Minutes accepted 6 0. <clears throat> Then there will be communications that are done tonight. Mr. Bridge. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Mayor, members of council, members of the public. I'd like to share with you the city manager's report. Um, we'll just move on down to informational items since it's the first meeting of the month. Uh, just a few updates for everyone. Uh, patrol vehicles, we kind of got some out of the service right now. I want to bring council and the public up. We have four total cars right now. Two of them are in the shop. So we're really operating on two cars right now. Our charger has siren issues. Um, so basically that is being repaired right now at Rose's. Um, hopefully we'll have that back within the next week or two. Uh, I will update council as the information comes to me. Um, in the SUV, uh, we have a busted steering leakage. leakage. That repair is estimated, estimated to be around 3,300 and that is currently in repair as well. So um, hopefully within the next two weeks we have both our cars back. I will definitely update council as I said earlier regarding any changes uh, with those updates. But again, we are on two. Uh, so is that presenting any problems currently? No, because the two we usually take theirs home are be, they're being like the sub, sub. just rotated out. Okay. So, um, so I just want to bring everyone up to speed on that. And at the last meeting, I misspoke, so I was incorrect about something. I just want to correct that. Mr. Lindsay, we were talking about petty cash and that policy that council voted uh, and to put in place to control our petty cash. And I think it was you who asked me about the pool petty cash. I was not aware, but the pool does have a hundred dollars of petty cash. So one of the things I'm looking about doing is kind of taking that away. If I don't take that away, they will fall under that same policy that council did pass. And that is all I have for the city manager report. It is kind of um, not a lot there this year, but this time of year kind of slows down and we kind of get done with our year end stuff. So not a lot of outside activity, but we are still plugging away on our budget, some contracts, some other year end things that we do have to finish. Be happy to entertain any questions. Council, any questions for the city manager? Mr. Mayor. Mr. Lindsay. Mr. Bridge, the repairs on the cruisers, will that be coming out of the uh, police fund? Yes. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, we're probably going to put the 3300 in through insurance. Yeah. For the SC. steering column? Yes. Okay, thank you. Because I was a wreck. That's mm -hmm. what I thought. Sure. Fantastic count. Mr. Bridge, we're Well, I can't remember. I know we've talked about it. When is the next year we're going to we decide to purchase a new uh, police vehicle? Oh, I think it's next year. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I had wanted to wait until the, but I think council in our uh, capital um, work sessions, we decided to go ahead and get one. This year. we put it on our wish list. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're in a month or two. Gotcha. Council, anything else? Mm -hmm. No, nope. Mr. Bridge. Thank you. Thank you. All right, moving on, we are now going to comments from the public. Please limit comments to five minutes or less. Mr. Gurman. Okay, we're introducing an ordinance to authorize a city manager to enter into a contract with the sheriff for police protection. I read through the contract, and nowhere in the contract does it give the city the right to refuse any particular deputy. Now, we have some excellent deputies. In the past, we have 
but also had some, shall we say, less than stellar deputies. I would strongly advise to add that clause to the contract, both for the, for the protection of the city and for the protection of the citizens. Thank you so much, Mr. Graham. Mr. Bridge, you have anything to say on that? <laughs> nope. All right. Any other comments from members of the public? Hearing none. Committee reports, there are none tonight. Resolutions, none. Ordinances, Mrs. Berner. All right, our first ordinance, 18-29, public hearing in action tonight, and ordinance establishing temporary appropriations for fiscal year 2019. Council? Make a motion to accept 1829. Second. Yeah, I'll give that one to Mr. Shea. <clears throat> Let's give the second to Mr. Shammy. They both quick on the draw on that one. Okay. And an explanation of this ordinance. Um, every year, um, if we don't pass an op actual operating budget by December 31st, we are allowed in the state of Ohio, and the city does it routinely every year, to pass what we call a temporary budget. And what that does is it gives us a few months to actually close out the year to find out where we're at before we just assume we know where we're at. So. Um, it's basically a housekeeping. However, I did want to talk about it for a second because some of the council members that's been on council for a couple of years, you may notice the format is a little different than what it was before. Um, we get audited every year by the state of Ohio, um, and they come and they make recommendations about our financial procedures. Well, historically, the city, when we did our budget, when we passed an actual operating budget, we didn't break it down. And it's just a recommendation from the state auditor. So basically, our temporary budget we'll use last year, for example, it would say general fund, that's it, and have a random number by it. Well, what they want us to do is break it down just a little bit more. So right now we see general fund, it says personnel service, it is operating. If you get to some of those departments that have capital improvements, that is listed as well. But it's really just breaking those line items down a little bit more to make it a little bit more transparent so people can see where exactly the line item's going to. So L and off is the same thing, but the format does look different from years past. Moving forward, this is how we will continue to do our temporary budgets. And actually, our budget submission for 19 is going to look very similar to this and not like it did last year as well. So um, that's what it is. It's a housekeeping bill. It will allow us to temporarily spend money until we pass <coughs> a full operating budget um, here sometimes after a few months uh, into 2019. Thank you, Mr. Bridge, so much. I think it's a lot more cleaner now. It's, sure. you know, it's easier to know when the money's all gone. So. Absolutely. All right. Mrs. Burnham. Yeah. Mr. Lowry. Yes. Mr. Cobb. Yes. Mr. Cook. Yes. Vice Mayor Lindsay. Yes. Mayor Reynolds. Yes. Mr. Shammy. Yes. Ordinance accepted 6-0. Will you read the rest of the ordinance? Yes. <laughs> ordinance 18-31, introduction tonight, public hearing in action on December 17, 2018, and ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract for city employee health insurance. Ordinance 18-32, introduction tonight, public hearing in action on December 17, 2018, an ordinance authorizing the city manager to enter into a contract with the Sheriff of Clark County, Ohio for police protection within the city limits of New Carlisle, Ohio. Ordinance 18-33, introduction tonight, public hearing and action on December 17, 2018. An ordinance approving a contract between the city's AFSCME chapter and the city of New Carlisle for a three-year period. Will you read other business? Yep. Oh. Moving on to other business, Congressman Warren Davidson will hold mobile office hours at the city building on the fourth Tuesday of each month from 1.30 p.m. until 2 p.m. Right. Council, anything for other business? No? Uh, this uh, Saturday at 6.30 p.m., downtown New Carlisle will have <clears> Christmas <throat> tree lighting. Uh, Randy, it's okay? <laughs> <laughs> I saw you point it. No, uh, we'll have a Christmas tree lighting. We'll have Santa and Mrs. Claus there. We'll also have a letterbox for uh, ch the children who are to place their letters in there to Santa, and then we will deposit them to the post office to be sent to the North Pole. All right, Council. Do you want? Is that going to the city building still after? Yes. This? Oh, and then after this, it'll go to the city building for the remainder until Christmas Eve. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Oh, no problem. It's a fantastic idea. Yeah. That's the chair. All right. Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mike, someone Mayor. will. <laughs> Move to adjourn. <laughs> we are adjourned. <laughs>